case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for the hamilton county municipal court was drawn into the realm of spectacle at a wedding gone awry in the 1983 deitch v music company case at the center of the dispute measuring damages with reasonable certainty following a breach in contract in a story that combined wedding bells with court gavels the plaintiffs engaged a band, the defendants, to perform at their wedding. Seemingly all was well. The music was sorted well in advance, and a final confirmation was received the night before. Yet on the big day there was no band in sight. In a regrettable lapse, the defendants had mistakenly categorized their contract as cancelled. Faced with the deafening silence where harmonies should have been, the plaintiffs sought legal recourse for damages that extended beyond the cost of the band to cover the entire reception. The defendants on the other side of the courtroom argued to limit their liability to returning the deposit. In came the ruling by the court, siding with the plaintiffs. Indeed, the defendants had violated the terms of their agreement. However, a clear challenge emerged. Precisely how much were these damages worth? Resorting to precedent cases such as Hadley v. Baxendale, 1854, the court grounded its ruling on the principle that out-of-pocket losses do not always make up for the entirety of harm endured. Supplementing a breach of contract, after all, give rise to distress, inconvenience, and even depreciation in the value of an event. With these nuances in mind, the court ordered damages amounting to $750, inclusive of the refundable deposit and the aforementioned incidental harms. The ruling served as a stark and costly reminder that in contract law, the gavel hits a note that goes beyond monetary value. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.